Todd Fowler today, and John is a for, past president of the Left Bank Jazz Society. And John, you also affiliated with Jazz Expressway, is that correct? Um, not more as a as a patron. I'm not I'm not a member of the organization. Okay, but Left, Left Bank, Bank Jazz yes. Society oh, is yeah. your claim to fame. It's my claim to fame. So, what did you think about the concert this afternoon? Oh well, Carlos has always been. Uh, an exceptional musician. We always booked him for our boat rides. We used to do an all-day Sunday boat ride down the bay, and Carlos was always one of the two bands that we booked because you can always count on, <coughs> excuse me, count on Carlos giving you an excellent show. Well, the inspiration for the summer series, Jazz at the Grand, right. was the old Left Bank Jazz Society. Okay. You know, we've been down here every Sunday from four to seven. So, are we comparable, or is it anything? Close a lot. Well, I mean, you, you know, think? when I looked at the crowd, your crowd was 80% left bank. Well, 80% left bank. 80% left okay. bank. I mean, I saw a lot of folks in here that I remember from coming to left bank. And, and one of the other inspirations was to create an attraction in downtown Baltimore as a tour operator. I'm constantly getting complaints from people who stay overnight, right. who There's say nothing it's to nothing do. to do, you know, in the downtown area. So do you feel like this is a worthwhile place? Yeah, right? yes. I mean, it was a great show. You had an unbelievable crowd. Uh, crowd really enjoyed the concert, and uh, from what I can see from 42 years of being in Left Bank, you guys got a winner going there. Oh. <laughs>
you know what I'm going to I'm going to have a second here. And, man, you should have to be. With Thelma Scott, and Thelma Scott was a former neighbor of Carlos Johnson. And she had a special invitation to come here this evening to jazz at the Grand. So what did you think about the show this evening? Oh, I loved it. It was beautiful. I enjoyed myself very much. And did Carlos sound as good as he did a few yes, years ago? Yes, yes, yes. As even good as he did I at your birthday? Younger. Yes, and yes he did. <laughs> okay. Even when I was younger than that. And how do you feel about the series, dude? I love it. Jazz at the Grand series yes, that's been going on. I think it's an excellent idea. Okay. We, well, should have, we should have more of it. Okay, well, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, it's I, a, I missed the first show with Greg Hatson, but looks like you that guys was definitely awesome. got a winner. But you better call the fire department out <laughs> next week for more. Oh, oh, really? Oh my God! You've never seen him? I've never seen one. Well, I've heard a lot of Warren about him. plays bass, piano, drums, and vibes. Oh, okay. And all of them well. Well, you know, Greg Hatzel was actually the third show. Oh, he was like the third yeah, show? Yeah, that okay. was the third show. We opened up with John Lampkin oh, yeah. and Sheila okay. Ford. Okay, I know And then Sheila the next well. week was uh, uh, Whit Williams. You oh, know okay. Whit Williams? I know Whit. So, Whit Williams He's was He's an old here friend of uh, Left Bank's. Oh, yeah. okay. So yeah. anyway, yeah, so we drew upon the Left Bank crowd. And uh, so I guess, would you say that 90% of these people in here were from Baltimore this afternoon? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if not more. Oh, okay. You know, and, and like I said, the majority of the folks here were former Left Bank patrons. Okay, so that's one of the things we have to improve upon yeah. is attracting people who are actually staying in this hotel. Oh, yeah, and, and other, other hotels. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But how okay. do you go about that? How do you do that? Well, one of, one of the things I'm saying is through the cost. I haven't urges. heard about the Chamber of Commerce in Baltimore in 30 years, so um, are they active? I mean, do they... Can they help you do some I of think, that? I think they could be somewhat helpful, but I think if we work through the concierges, you know, which really with just everybody the demand goes to, for this show. Everybody goes to right. when they're staying in a hotel to, right. find, and out so what's they happening. to find out what's happening. So maybe we go meet with the concierge association. Okay. That okay. was one of the things I wanted to do, but uh, with this show being in such demand by the locals, yeah. I was constantly on the phone and having people come to the house well, to Carlos purchase has, tickets. Carlos has been playing around Baltimore for the last 50 years or so. Right, and He's a name that, which is why we booked him on our boat ride because you would get a hundred people come on a boat ride just because it was Carlos Johnson playing one of the bands. Right, so I think we made a really good oh, choice yes. this afternoon. Oh, yeah. But, but Warren, believe me, you made a real choice next week. Now what about some of the other other people that's on the line out Yeah, uh, you got, I forgot. Herman that. Bernie's, uh, yeah, uh, that, Minister That John, I'm not really finished. Okay, uh, well, he, he, with. he's from Washington, D.C. But now the Baltimore band, the uh, Mr. Dr. Fun. Dr. Fun, Charles you know, Fun, yeah, right, yeah, Charles yeah, Fun. You know, he has a son that's a noted musician. Oh, okay. Chris Fun is a bassist. Well, I used to work with Mr. Fun years ago. Well, his son Charles plays Anderson with or. Christian McBride and all of the young oh, okay. jazz bands out here. So the son got it from the father. Right. Well, we would greatly appreciate it if you would take some of these rack cards with you sure, and let sure. people know about the exciting lineup yeah, because that's coming up. For I didn't know myself until last week. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I so got a call last week that. Greg Hatcher was going to be here. I had just seen Greg a couple of weeks ago, but I definitely wanted to see Carlos because, again, I hadn't seen him in a while. Right. But right. Uh, you need to really spread the word about uh, Warren Wolf. He's an unbelievable young musician. Okay, so we will we'll make an active effort yeah. to really do yeah. that. Well, anyway, I want to thank you for staying around. Not a problem. And uh, problem. helping us. And you've always been supportive of jazz in Baltimore City. Hey. So once again, we want to thank Mr. John Fowler.